Here's how to use custom shaping with float control. First, make sure you have the pro version that can be enabled here. For now, it's free. And then you have that icon in the bottom right. Tap that and you see custom shaping. Now you can pick a tune and you'll see in the corner that question mark versus the check mark that shows you whether you are writing that tune right now or whether you're just checking it out. So now, if I press apply settings, that will apply that tune to my board. And if I go and change something, and I hit apply settings, make sure you see that changes applied um, pop up and then now it is on the board. It has not changed the tune up at the top. You see now that check mark changed to a question mark. And that's because that preset is not being updated automatically. If you want that to be updated because the change you made, you want that to be part of that preset, you long press the preset card, you press update, and then you say save shape preset. And so that allows you to update the preset as well. So just look for the check mark versus the question mark to know whether what's on your board matches what you're currently looking at in float control. If you do see the question mark, that means you can tap it and then you can see the difference between what you're writing versus what the new value would be so you know what you're getting into. Also, so far, all the changes that we've made were temporary. If you want them to become permanent, meaning that they survive a power cycling off the board, then you press that red button in the bottom left corner and you say write config to VESC. Once you do that, then it will become permanent, meaning that you don't lose it when you power cycle the board. But I did this intentionally so I can play around with different tunes. If I configure myself into a corner, I can just power cycle the board and I'm back to where I was before. Once I do like it, then I can use this red button to save it. That's it.